Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about Lignitzer's uh, fifth play. Uh, this play is particularly interesting because he opens up with a strutz how. Uh, the the strutz how is basically it translates as the plunging strike, uh, and it's it's basically a high overhead wrap. Okay, uh, there's two variations that I have of this. Um, you know, one is elbow up, okay, uh, and the other one is elbow down. Okay, um, so let me do it here so you can see it. So this one is elbow up okay and the other one is elbow down I'll do it again so you can see it slower as you come in that's my true edge then I'll flip it over to the back edge okay and, 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 and basically that's how it ends up plunging okay uh, and, and the purpose of this is to you know you to get over the top of somebody's defense um, and you know this is the opening blow so there's a good chance they're probably gonna block this uh, and in order to block this, what they're going to do is they're going to raise their defense up high, however they do it. Whether they go like this or like this, um, it's going to force them to bring their defense high. Um, so in this particular play, what Lignanson tells us is uh, to open up with this, uh, with this, with the struts how, then threaten the point, right? Then change uh, where we attack. So from there, he tells us to go to the inside, okay? thrust in there and he, he then says that he blocks it and then he says to take their uh, their right leg okay so we're attacking to that side um, throwing the um, you know, using the elbow up variation of the struts how is a really uh, nice setup um, you know to get to that inside thrust and then go to that leg so because here I'm set up here threatening the point as he prescribes you know drop the thrust in um, the play says that he blocks that. He, he brings that buckler down to his midsection, and then from there, I'm basically gonna, you know, just, just, you know, just pull the, the sword back, rotate my hips, and attack that his right leg. Um, we can also do this with the elbow down variation of the struts how. Okay, so elbow down variation. Uh, from here, again, we're we're threatening the thrust, but instead we're gonna drop it down here, thrust in over here. And then from there, take a leg cut. Okay. Um, I mean, I mean, you can do it either way. I, I find that from 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 this position here, it's a lot uh, more efficient and it's a lot stronger to thrust in over here, and then from there make that cut versus from this position here um, to you know from to to, to 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 turn that threat from there to down there. That's a little awkward to me. It's doable, but I find that a little bit more awkward. You know, and then from there you can turn it into that cut. Um, so for this reason, um, I think that this play makes a lot more sense, and for me it's more practical uh, uh, to do it um, elbow up. Okay, so elbow up, thrust there, come in over there, and make that cut to that to that left leg. Uh, sorry, to the right leg. He says right leg. Um, now going back to the struts, how two variations. Uh, you know, what are the strengths of each? Um, you know, with the with this version, right, the elbow down version, I find that I can do this from a greater distance because what's happening is, um, the uh, basically most of the downward the plunging happens at the wrist, and the arm is mostly extended, so I'm able to do this uh, better from a distance. Whereas with the other one, the elbow up, you know, basically I generally get a little bit closer. Uh, the advantage of this is that it, you know I can get deeper. I mean, if I'm in close, I can really get in, you know, get in really deep over here. Um, so that's one of the uh, advantages, disadvantages of each one. Um, you know, basically depending on what my opponent is doing, I'll decide which one I want to throw. But, uh, you know, there's, you know, from, with this one, I can really throw this out from a distance. Um, and, you know, it'll probably be blocked, but that's going to set you up uh, to attack somewhere else. Now, the second thing to be aware of with these uh, two variations of the stress out is which one you use is going to set you up um, uh, or put you in a better position for a different follow-up cut um, if I do the elbow up uh, struts out that's gonna set me up for an attack you know on the right side all right so my secondary attack okay, will easily go on the right side if I do the elbow down variation from there I'm set up for a left side attack okay so you know, you know, and I can go high, you know, or I can, you know, go, you know, drop it in low. Um, so, so, I'll do it from this side. So, elbow down variation sets me up for a cut on the left side 
versus elbow up sets me up for a cut on the right side. Um, so that's something to be aware of as far as using the struts how. Um, and, you know, again, in this play, what we see is, um, you know, the two main things that we keep seeing, you know, that we've seen a couple of times now with Ligonser is, is in this direction. He's threatening high and attacking low, okay? Um, and uh, not only that, but during, you know, he also threatens that, you know, because he does that at the two, at the beginning and the end of the fight, but he also does it in the middle. I mean, even with his thrust, okay, he changes his thrust to a very subtle, you know, very subtle change from there to there. So, 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 so he's working, he, he's doing subtle misdirection, and then he's doing the big misdirection, where he's kind of going from top to bottom. Um, so there, you know, this is my... Um, uh, interpretation of uh, Ligonser's uh, fifth play. Um, you know, if you guys, by all, you know, if you guys have any comments or if you have a counter video to this, uh, by all means, you know, you can you can post it, link it to my uh, um, you know, to my comment section. Uh, if you have a, a way that you prefer doing this play, I mean, um, if you go and you look at the translations, you know, there's there's really enough room that you can there's a, you know you, I mean you can you can translate this a number of different ways. Um, or interpret it a number of different ways depending on how you uh, how you read the uh, uh, the translations and if you read the if you're able to read it in its original language you know I'm sure that you can probably come up with a lot more um, but as far as the translations that I've seen uh, this is what they you know what they lead me to believe that that uh, Lignancer is uh, subscribing to us you know he's telling us throw that plunging strike threaten the thrust there bring it down low and then make that cut down there. So, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a member of my channel, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.